We are in Carnaby Street, the heart of the London shopping district, and Oxford Street is just over there. Now, come Monday, these shops are going to reopen. I'm intrigued to find out what the new shopping landscape is going to look like, and also what preventive measures these shops are going to put in place to protect shoppers. What is the new norm of shopping going to look like come Monday? I'm going to take you right now to have a look at what shops will look like after lockdown. This is a first glimpse, a first look. Let's go. I'm the store manager of Pantheon m &S on Oxford Street. From Monday the 15th, our stores will feel quite different for our customers coming back. Starting at the front door, you will be met by a member of our team to welcome you to store and make sure that we are socially distanced. Um, on top of that, we have hand sanitizer at the front of the stores as well to make sure that we're being safe when our customers come through the doors. Other measures that we have in place are our floor markings, so they will dictate the two meter distance while you shop. Um, as well as that, we have signage throughout the store as well, showing that we need to stay two meters apart. When you get to our till bank as well, you'll see there's now a screen making sure that both our colleagues and our customers are safe while they go through their transaction. So the shopping experience will be quite dis different for our customers, although we're still the same old M&S that we were. Um, we have a capacity now, so we will only let a certain number of customers in the building at one time so that we can make sure that we are really safe and that customers don't get too close together while they're in store. Um, as well as that, our fitting rooms will remain closed, but we have reviewed our refund policies to make sure that you've got plenty of time to try on your product at home. So we've got markings on the floor to make sure that they stay apart. We've also removed quite a lot of equipment off our floor, which means that there's distance between all of our floor fixtures. Um, we have decor around to make sure that everyone's reminded of the two metre distancing. And we have found that the capacity pace of just a certain number of customers in the building at one time has been the most effective way to keep people distanced from each other. The message I would send to customers is um, make sure you're really aware of your own space and also the space of the customers around you. Um, we will absolutely be there to, to make sure you feel safe when you come into our store, but be really patient and just make sure you're giving yourself and other people the space that they need to shop safely. Shoppers should feel reassured and confident that we have taken all of the government measures really seriously and we've implemented them ready for June the 15th um, and making sure that the environment is really safe to come and shop without too many people around you. My name is Philippa Nibbs and I'm a Director of Sales at Primark. First of all, we're incredibly excited to have our colleagues and customers back at Primark and we have put a number of extensive measures in place. We're asking our customers to adhere to social distancing. We are asking them to use hand sanitizer on arrival in store. We are limiting the number of customers that we have in each of our stores and we're encouraging them to pay by contactless payments. We do have certain areas of our store closed and we are enhancing our store in-store cleaning, paying particular attention to our escalator handrails, lift call buttons and our till points. We have floor marshals throughout the store advising and reminding our customers about the social distancing. We've opened every other till. We have perspex between both our customers and our colleagues at the till area. From the minute our customers arrive in store they will be asked to use hand sanitizer, invited to use a freshly sanitized basket. They will see signage all around them reminding them around social distancing and on arrival at the tills they will see a more open um, till space where there is perspex in place to protect both our colleagues and our customers. We would like customers to be patient uh, while shopping and also to adhere to social distancing to keep both themselves and others safe. So in conclusion, on Monday the 15th of June, non-essential shops in England will start to reopen. So scenes like this on the high streets will be a thing of the past. But unfortunately, bars and restaurants will still remain closed. Sorry guys.